I began to discern the priesthood seriously uh, following my freshman year of college. Uh, over the course of a few months, it became clear to me that God was calling me to the seminary to further discern his will. My response? I'll go, just not yet. <laughs> I'll go after I graduate from college. Enter my spiritual director. Now, one of our meetings, he asked me if I knew that God was calling me to the seminary. Yes, I said, I know. Then why are you still here, he asked. There was a long pause, and then he added, this won't be the first time in your life that you'll have to say goodbye. Now, yesterday at 4 p.m., Bishop Desitel announced a new assignment for me. Uh, effective February 8th of this year, I will move to Washington, D.C. for three years of service at the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Uh, the conference does work on behalf of all the bishops and dioceses of the United States. Uh, there's an office there called the Office of Worship, and it does similar work to the work that I do for Bishop Desitel on Wednesday afternoons and Friday mornings to assist bishops and dioceses in their liturgical mission, in issues related to the Mass and the sacraments. My last meeting here at St. Leo will be January 23rd and 24th. At this time, we don't know who our new pastor will be, uh, but we begin praying eagerly for our bishop as he discerns. Uh, we begin praying for whoever uh, that man is. This won't be the first time in your life You'll have to say goodbye. What my spiritual director knew, but I didn't, was that I had determined to do holiness on my own terms, in my own time. As a 19-year-old boy in college, I had determined that I would do God's will when I was ready to do God's will. I wasn't ready to say goodbye to Seton Hall, to the friends and mentors that I had made there. Uh, but God was ready, and that was all that happened. I entered the seminary that fall. Today, the church celebrates the Feast of Epiphany. And through the star, through the wise men, she shows us that holiness on our own terms isn't holiness at all. True holiness means movement. True holiness means journeying, always going toward God's will, always moving toward the love that God is calling us to. So let's look at the star, let's look at the wise men, and let's see what insight they offer us. Now, first, the star. The star is often proposed as a model of the Christian life. We focus on its light, but there's another aspect of the star that I'd like to highlight this morning. It moves. Yesterday I was struck to discover that stars move. Just like the Earth rotates, our sun rotates once every 30 days. Just like the earth revolves around the sun, the sun revolves around the center of the Milky Way galaxy once every 230 million years. With the star, it's not just about being bright. It's about being on the moon. And we see that with the wise men, too. Hey, philosophers, Living in the foreign land of Chaldea, there they are searching for the truth. They are living a life of virtue. Our three wise men, they are certainly shining there in Chaldea. And yet, the Lord breaks into their life through the star. He calls them to leave behind the safety, the stability, the security, the familiarity of their land. For a land 1,000 miles away. I can imagine the wise men asking, can't we just be obedient here? 
Can we just be faithful here? Can I just be holy here? On my own terms. In my own way. In my own time. No. Holiness on our own terms isn't holiness at all. To be Christian means to be on the move. Now, what does this mean for us? Well, I think there's two ways that we place limits on holiness, limits on faithfulness. We can limit the what of God's will, and we can limit the when of God's will. First, the what. We can think about virtue. When we look to the Lord and say, oh yeah, Lord, I'll do this virtue, but I'm not going to do that. I'll obey these commandments, Lord, but not those. These precepts of the church, I'm fine with that, but certainly not those others. We can place limits on the what of faithfulness. We can also not only do it with virtue and the commandments, we can do it with Christian service. Telling the Lord, I'll go here but not there. I'll serve in this way but not in that one. I'll be holy, but it will be on my own terms and in my own way. We can limit the what of Christian holiness. We can also limit the when of Christian holiness. With virtue. Say, Lord, hey, I'll be holy tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be holy, Lord, next month. I'll be holy, Lord, next month. Transition 